Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA, Elite Total Body Care and Private Label Hair Care Company. So today is a little bit different of a video. Um, as you guys know, we are approaching our business building curriculum with the Elite Hair and Business um, University. So I wanted to kind of kick it off a little bit and show you guys a little bit of back end details. And this is also a resource that you'll be able to use when you start shipping and packaging your own products. So I'm going to show you guys how we order our packaging and other items within um, Elite Hair Care, Elite Total Body Care, and also Private Label Hair Care Company. And then, of course, I'm going to show you guys how you can save money when you're ordering, um, which was a very big mistake that I made when I first launched my brand. So I'm going to give you guys some pro tips as I go along. So get your pen, get your paper, and be ready to write. All right, so I'm going to turn you guys this way towards the computer. Well, I think it'll probably be easier if I set you guys over here. Just a reminder, this is being recorded live, you guys. So the quality can sometimes go in and out. That's not something that I have control over. But I just want you guys to be able to get the information. So I'm going to actually turn you guys around like this so that you can see what I see. There we go, so you guys can see what I see. Um, I'm actually using Kat's desk today because she is out, but even when your staff is not here, you still have to do your work. Okay, so what I've done already is I've compiled a list of the items that I need. So the easiest thing to do whenever you're about to place an order, and this is kind of one of the mistakes that I also made at the beginning, and I still make this mistake now, I don't actually write out a list of what I'm gonna order. So no different from you going to the grocery store and you knowing that you went there for three items, but you didn't write a list, so you instead get about 25 items because you didn't stick to the items that you needed. So what I have done is gone through and definitely created a list of items that I needed um, from this particular vendor and then we're gonna go on order what we need and we are all done all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uline.com a lot of you have heard of uline before um, it's very well known it's been around for a very long time some people like them some people don't me personally I like uline because uline allowed us to create an account so we are able to um, pay later and buy now which was very important especially if you are launching a brand and you don't want to put out all of your capital all at one time so uline is definitely um, our go-to when it comes on to our packaging um, for shipping um, we don't use them for our tape, which we will talk um, a lot more in detail when we are in the business building classes, where I do give you guys a lot of the resources that we use. And we've already done most of the work, so you don't even have to do a lot of the work because we figured it out already. All right, so I am going to... Uh, I kind of have some items already in the cart, but with the items already being in the cart, I want you guys to see it from, from scratch. So let me, let me move this computer this way so you guys can see everything. There we go. Okay, so up here is the search bar. So we have to order a couple things. We need to get another cart for our packages for postage. We need to get some peanuts. We need to get some bags for our kits to make them easier to grab off the shelf. We need to get some craft tape. We have three different size boxes to get, and then we also have to get a specialty box, which is going to be utilized for our new body care collection. So we're gonna start um, by going to the search bar. So we already have an account created with Uline. Um, we've had an account with them for quite some time. This little thing right here is telling us that we have an invoice that's due, and I am not clicking on that today. I do not wanna see that today, nor do I wanna hear anything about that today. So <laughs> I am not messing with that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to boxes, which is corrugated boxes. The good thing with Uline is they have a ton of different boxes that you can choose from. Um, we just use standard boxes, you guys. There's nothing really special about our boxes. Um, corrugated, it works for us. We don't ship anything extremely heavy. Um, and then of course, if, if we find a box that's a little bit cheaper, uh, we kind of test it out to see first if it works for us. If it doesn't, then we move on. So the first box we're gonna order is a 10 by six by four. 
This box is ideal for those who have like eight ounce products or if you're shipping a product with a spray top or if you're shipping a number of products that have different sizes, but when they lay down, they can ship inside this box. So we usually get this box, the 10 by six by four. Um, we typically stick with the lightweight. They are a lot cheaper and they come in bundles. So when you order from Uline, you have to get the bundles rather than individual boxes. Um, a mistake I made was trying to order boxes through Amazon. Please, please, please. Yes, it costs you a little bit more to get more boxes because you have to order a minimum of 25. But to be quite honest, if you try to order 25 boxes on Amazon, you're gonna pay double the price, sometimes even triple the price, because these vendors that are selling on Amazon, they are actually buying the boxes from Uline or other Chinese vendors, okay? So we're gonna go with the 10 by six by four, 32 ECT lightweight. Um, we don't need the 200 pound. These are for like really, really thick boxes. We don't need those. And then we typically order 500 at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 500. Now we are in the month of September, approaching October, okay? We are in the month of September, approaching October. With that being said, we know that Black Friday is coming around. We know that the holidays are coming around and we know that New Year's is coming around. So when you're placing your order now, you wanna kind of um, pre-plan for the holiday season. Now, of course, these are boxes, you guys. Even if you have more than more boxes than you need, you are going to have these boxes until you use them up. So it's not a big deal to order a couple extra boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 500 in my cart, which I made the mistake and added um, 550, okay? Now, if you don't wanna do that large number of 500, you can do 250. Um, if you're a smaller business, then go ahead and start with the 25 boxes. I'm gonna add 250. It's, I'm gonna edit my cart when I'm done. I just like to add them in the cart and then I can fix my order as I see fit. Um, we also need some four by four by nine boxes. We use these boxes a lot. So I'm definitely gonna order a good amount of these boxes to bring us through the holidays. So we have the four by four by nine. They only come in the 200 pound. Not my favorite answer because that means I have to pay a lot more for the box. Or you can do nine by four by four. So it's length times width times height. The good thing about Uline is when you click it, it will show you a picture of the box. You guys have seen this box come to you before on a lot of our orders. Yes, it costs a little bit more for this box, mainly because of the height, but we use so much of them. So we go ahead and order anywhere between 250 and 500 of these at a time. 250 of these will not last us through the holiday, so I'm probably going to just go ahead and do 500 and call it a day as much as I don't want to spend that 200 and odd dollars. And then I'm going to go here and fix this 10 by 6 by 4. Let's update that. So we're getting 500 of the 4 by 4 by 9, 250 of the 10 by 6 by 4. Um, I'm gonna remove these from the cart because I want you guys to see how we order them from scratch. So I'm gonna take these off. If that coupon thing don't stop popping up. Okay, and then we also need some five by five by three boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to boxes. I went back too far. Five by five by three are boxes that we can use for like our serums or if you order like three or four small products, they can fit in the five by five by three box. What we have also done is we used to stock a ton of different size boxes. We have stopped doing that because we noticed that the, the pricing doesn't change very much when we change the box size. So what we've done is we've basically chosen the six box sizes that we use the most, and that's what we order. And then if it can't fit in that, then we go up to the next one. So here we're gonna do five by five by three, which of course it's not available in the lightweight. This actually sucks. Oh, ugh. But the good thing is in the 200 pound test, it's still 37 cents. Now, when you have an account with Uline, if you, hey dad, if you, um, create an account with them, talk to your rep. They can actually negotiate your box prices and give you deals on boxes after you've ordered a certain quantity. You just call them up and say, hey, um, I've been ordering this amount of boxes. I'd number one, like to create a credit account. Number two, I'd like to see if we can negotiate down some of our box prices and then your rep will come out and meet with you or you can have a Zoom call 
and they will figure that part out for you. So I'm going to go ahead and order 250 of the 5x5x3. Five by five by so that's going to go into the cart. Now with Uline, the more you order, the more the shipping is going to be. We no longer have to use a lift gate. We no longer have to do um, inside delivery because we have a forklift now. But for you, if you're only ordering 25, then it would just come UPS. The shipping won't be so high. Okay, so those are the three boxes that we need. So we've gotten those three boxes. I'm going to go ahead and order some more peanuts because we do use a lot of peanuts to package our stuff. We prefer to use peanuts over shrink wrap. Reason being, the peanuts are a lot cheaper. They fit in the boxes and they're easy to put into the boxes. Bubble wrap, you spend more on bubble wrap, okay? So you basically get, it's a bag that's 20 cubic feet, okay? So we started using the pink, even though it costs us $2 more, but our brand colors are gold, black, white, and pink. If you guys notice, we have pink on there. So that is the reason why we chose pink peanuts. Keep in mind, when you are selling your products, even opening the package is an adventure. So you wanna make sure that your branding is on point. We use craft customized tape for our boxes. We use pink peanuts on purpose. We don't really change the box colors. That's not a huge issue, but we do make sure that we put um, our business name on everything and we try to just kind of stay within our brand, stay within our brand colors as best possible. If this is not a big deal for you, then you can get the white and save the $2. For us, we do actually use it. And if you notice, the price is the same all the way across the board. So I'm just gonna order two. Now, when you're ordering from Uline, what I highly suggest is order everything that you can and everything that you need on one order. Because if you continue separating orders, your shipping is gonna outweigh your profits. And that's another mistake that we made. We were ordering in small quantities and I started noticing that we were paying $100, $150 for shipping and then we're placing two and three orders a month. Now we place one order a month, sometimes one order every two months, and that's how we do it. When we get to the point where we are ordering a thousand boxes at a time or whatever the case may be, then we'll be doing one order every quarter, but we're not there yet. So we are working at, at the level that we are at. And right now I'm just replenishing boxes that we already have in stock, but I know I needed other items. So let me go ahead and order them all on one order and save myself some money. Okay, so we ordered two um, pink 20-foot cubic bags of um, peanuts. So if you see the lady at man standing here, this is how big the bag is, okay? That's how big that bag is. That bag is about five foot three or higher. I'm five foot three, so that tells you that's a lot of peanuts. So we are gonna order two bags of that. That should get us through to at least Black Friday um, or past Black Friday, but we have some peanuts already in the warehouse, so we're just replenishing. Okay. So we are gonna also look for a new cart for, um, for our packages, mainly because we've been having to use the bags and they're super duper inconvenient um, when we are trying to like move quickly, okay? So you can use tilt trucks if you want. Um, you can use roller, roller tr um, service carts if you want. We like to use these baskets. Um, they actually work really well for us. Now the baskets can be kind of costly. They can be kind of costly. So I'm going to click on bulk totes or tuck, don't blah, 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 bulk trucks. Um, we try to get the most cost effective truck as possible. So we're gonna go in here. These are made by Uline, as you guys can tell. They're $180 for just the small one. That is the 27 by 16 by 22. We actually have one already that is this size. I think this is the one that we have right now. Um, and 180 is perfectly fine. You can get them in different colors, which we're going to. So we use the black one. For some reason, this does not look like the size that we order. So I'm going to see something. Let me see. Um, order history, which we order a lot. Order history. I'm going to type in truck. Search. This is gonna tell me what truck we have. Uline pallet truck, not that. Uh, forgot the name of that thing already. What is it called? Basket truck. Really? 
Is it showing me by year or something? We've had this over a year. The last two years. Let's do three years. There we are. So we got this one. So that's the one that we need to order, which has gone up to $245. Kind of, we're going to have to bite the bullet because it's something that you get things that you need as you grow. Don't worry about rushing to get things that you don't need right now. Like you wanna make sure that you are getting items that you're gonna utilize. From me working in the warehouse and the number of packages that we do, I kinda see where um, the headache lies because trying to move quickly and put stuff in those bags is very aggravating. And having all of those bags is very aggravating. So we're gonna get one more truck. I'm gonna get a red one because we already have a black one. So the black one is UPS, the red one is USPS, and that gives us the ability to separate the two. So we're gonna add that to the cart, which of course it has to go motor freight. So huh. I'll see how the shipping goes on that. All right, so we got the cart, we got the peanuts, so we need bags for the kits, which I actually already had those in the cart. I'm going to type poly or plastic bags. Let me see, I think that's it. Mm, no, 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 no. Bag with handles, let me see if that one comes up. Not those, we're not using shopping bags. This is the problem. Da, 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 da. Poly tubing. Let me type poly bags. Let's try here. Let's see. Doorknobs. No. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. It's 9 by 12, I think. right here so we use these for our bundle kits um it basically allows us to put the bundle kits um, on the shelf and all we have to do is grab them rather than them sitting freely we stop using the boxes for the bundle kits because they make the shipping boxes super bulky but we just want to make it convenient to grab and we know that everything is already assembled in the bundle kit so we use these drawstring bags they're really lightweight easy to open easy to close see through so we can see everything and then you have to get a thousand which is 148 um, it comes in clear and it comes in white of course we want clear so i'm going to order a thousand bags and craft tape so the last thing we need is some craft tape uline is also the place where you can get your water um water tape to spend water craft tape dispensers um if you do a lot of a lot of boxes like we do we bit the bullet and ordered one it was definitely worth every inch of what we needed so they have pressure sensitive craft tape where it doesn't require you to put it so these are self-adhesive um they come in the yard so you can get them one by 60 yards, two by 60 yards, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, you have to order it by the case, okay? So how many rolls come in a case for the one by 60 yard? It's $4.20 per roll for a case of 12. Um, so you can choose to do that. I'm gonna go see how much the regular craft tape is, which is just economy craft tape, nothing fancy. This one you order, um, also by the roll, but it comes eight rolls in a case, 375 inches, I think that is, or feet. Is that inches? I feel like that's inches. Let me see what it looks like and I can tell. No, that's feet. So this would be $65 rather than you paying $4.20 because this one, you basically put it in a tape dispenser um, we like to keep this tape on hand. It is water activated. It is reinforced. 
but we like to keep it on hand because if we are shipping from, let's say we're shipping something discreetly or we don't want to use the Elite Hair Care tape, then we have this tape on hand. So we're going to order one case for $65. That'll give us enough tape that if we ever run out of tape or maybe our tape order doesn't come fast enough or we forgot to order on time, whatever the case may be, we have craft tape in the warehouse. Okay, so we added that. All right, so we are going to go to our cart, which is $1,006. <gasps> eh, this thing just like makes me go, eh, it makes me gag every time I see it. So here is where you'll see everything that you're spending, all your pricing. Here it tells you you have a quoted quantity available at $1,200. So if you order $1,200 of these, it'll lower your price. Let's just see what it'll lower it to. It's going to lower it by cost per box. So let's see. It's $0.57 cents for less than that. We'd save $0.06 cents if we ordered $1,200, which I don't plan on ordering $1,200. So we are going to go back to $500. I might even bring it down to $250. I'm on a budget. I'm balling on a budget. I think I'm going to bring it down to $250. Cut my costs because at $250, it's the same price. So this is kind of where you evaluate where you are and, and what you're doing. Now, remember, when you have an account with Uline, whatever you spend today, including shipping, is due in whatever terms you have. So if you have a net 30, net 60, or net 90, just know that this is what you're going to be spending. Okay, that's what you're spending. So that's how much you owe them in your net 60, net 30, or net 90. All right, so I'm going to go ahead with this. I'm kind of thinking, do I want to wait to get this basket? I think I will wait. Yeah, let's wait. Check out. So we're going to have it delivered here. Okay, so you guys see the shipping? 100 $14.66. Now, if you are ordering a large quantity like this or a large order like this, and it has to go motor freight, just know that if you add inside delivery, it makes the price higher. It's not going to change it here, but they're definitely going to change it on your, on your, um, your invoice. If you need lift gate service, LiftGate service also brings up the price, brings it up another $30, $40, okay? We don't need e any of those, so I'm not selecting either one. Um, delivery appointment, if you're in a place where it requires you to have a delivery appointment, same thing. Um, you'll see it says here, UPS Ground is not available for this order. Why? Because it exceeds the weight or the size or whatever hazardous materials you might have on the order. Now, if I was to add that cart back on, I'm sure my shipping might be astronomical. So I'm going to go and see if the shipping is going to go up really, really high. Because if it's not going to go up super high, then I'll go ahead and get it. Because I don't want to have to pay shipping for it again. All by my lonesome. Mm -mm -mm. Was it this one? Or was that one? Let's see. Hmm. That one's not bad either. That one's super tiny. That's a no. Yeah. But this is how you do it, you guys. You see what you need. The color doesn't matter. It's the same price. That is not changing. So let's see when I add it, what my shipping cost is. Sometimes your shipping cost won't change at all. Sometimes it will change, like high. It can be super high. So it went up $15. Now, if I order that thing by itself, my shipping for that thing all by itself would be a hundred and something dollars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. You also have to think about your shipping costs. You guys, when you're making, um, when you're making decisions on um, placing orders, that kind of thing, you want to just make sure make sure that it, it makes sense, okay? So make sure that it makes sense. So we are going to use our Bill Me account, which is a net 30, so we have 30 days to pay that. So if you guys can see over here, that is how much we owe them in 30 days, okay? 
if that's you you roll a get a, according to your budget that is how this works you do it according to your budget don't let people tell you oh yeah you should be ordering a ton of stuff and blah 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 and blah 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 no also with uline once you place orders for a certain amount you start getting you get free gifts i love their free gifts because i always get something that either we need in the warehouse or something that i really really want at home so like i've gotten a wagon from them um, you can get a portable stove, which this is actually something that we use. Oh, let me scoot this back. There we go. So these are the free gifts that they give um, based on your order quantity. We actually use these stoves in the warehouse to um, double boil. You can get a magic bullet if you want to blend stuff. I don't plan on blending anything. Um, a kitchen torch, a vest, a tote. Um, you can get chairs, like they have so many different gifts that you can choose from, lamps. Listen, we don't need any of this. We do need that stove and I'm going to get that stove because it uses a little butane. And guess what? This stove right here, we can use this to do our double boiling whenever we need to. All we got to add is a little butane burner there and that is it. So that free gift is definitely going to be utilized. It doesn't add to your cost in shipping or anything. So just whatever they're giving you for free, go ahead and get it. All right, so we're going to submit that order. And that is how we place our orders through Uline for our packaging. Come on now. For our packaging materials, um, some stuff we use in production, some stuff we don't. So I hope this video gave you guys some insight on a resource that you can use to order your packaging for your orders and your products. For those of you that want more, you're really interested and ready to start your business and stop procrastinating, please go and enroll in our upcoming business curriculum, which is at EliteHairCareUniversity.com. So we are starting the business building curriculum in October and you'll be able to get a ton more resources, things that we don't really talk about. So you guys will be able to um, really get yourself in the right direction rather than doing it by trial and error like we have done for years. So we're taking your trial and error out of the equation. But I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.